Hello, my name is Jackie Bott, and I am the Assistive Technology and Ex Assessment Library Coordinator for DPS. I'm recording this video to show you all how to access the Q Interactive Kits on the SharePoint website. So this is the SharePoint website once you've logged in. If you need support getting to this point, please email dps underscore al at dpsk12.org, and we will help you with that part. But once you've gotten to this point and you're looking to request a Q interactive kit, the first thing you're going to do is click on reserve assessment kit. When it loads, it'll have the user agreement. You click I accept. And then you'll come to the discipline selection. Now, most of you or all of you have fewer buttons than I do. Um, on this. So some of them are grayed out um, and others are um, in color. So to find the Q Interactive Kits, those are actually under the Resources section. We did that because we needed to make sure that they were available to every discipline that needed to use them. So click Resources. When it comes to the actual request form and you come down to the Resources section, you're going to go down to Q and then all of the Q Interactive kits are listed here. Now, every single one of these kits is the exact same. So this is how many we have available to be checked out um, at the current moment. So you can choose any one of these um, that you like. And as soon as you fill in the rest of the information, the reserve kit button will highlight, and then you'll be able to go ahead and reserve that kit. When you get it, it's going to be a small bag with two iPads and one Apple Pencil inside. So that's how you do all that. The only thing left once you do that is to actually ask for the protocols that you need. Keep in mind that Q Interactive has a lot of different assessments across a few different disciplines. So what that means is that each discipline will have access to different assessments and we in the assessment library have no idea which assessments you're going to be giving when you request the kit. So we have no idea which protocols you'll need when you do that. So for now, the thing you can do is make sure you go to under protocols. If you are a special education teacher, for example, the protocols that are available to you for the assessments you have access to in Q Interactive will be found under special education. If you look under protocols, you're going to look under Q Interactive first because that's where they'll be. So if I go under Q, which is up here, you see Q Interactive. This is the Wyatt 4 response booklet. This is the only one that's available at the moment. If you're giving the Wyatt 4 using Q Interactive, this is the only tool you'll actually need for that. We will be adding more protocols to this as we can. The inventory is a little bit of a mess right now, so we're trying to clean some things up. And the transition over to digital has been difficult on the paper side. So we didn't receive a lot of our paper materials or the th other sort of a accompanying materials that we needed for each of the Q Interactive assessments until the first week of August, which, as you all know, is a really difficult time to stop and put things into an inventory. <laughs> so, um, so if you're having trouble getting access to any of the things that you need, please reach out to the assessment library. Again, their email address is dps underscore al at dpsk12.org. If you want to give us a call, the phone number is 720 Four two three one two zero five. I will also be posting a list of components that goes with every assessment that you can give in Q Interactive. What this will do is it'll give you a list of things that are available in terms of components. So if you're on the Wyatt 4, for example, the only thing that you can actually ask for would be the Wyatt 4 response booklets. The record form for the Wyatt 4 is actually inside the iPad, so there's no need for a record form. So the only thing you'll need is the actual Wyatt 4 response booklet. Um, there are different components to different assessments. So you'll need to look at this list to see exactly what you might need for any given assessment and then make sure you request those protocols. Just a reminder, we don't always have all of the protocols in the inventory right now, but we are working to make that better over time. If you have any questions about it whatsoever, please get in touch with us and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks.